So the first topic was talked about was health and health prevention. The second discussion among all these world leaders was the growing difference in income between some groups and other groups and how one of the keys to happiness is the ability for people to earn extra income or full-time income so they don't have the stress a financial stress and they can provide for their family and that's one of the key measures for happiness that people are able to live up to their full human potential and it was the first time I heard governments and companies talk about how critical it is to provide more income opportunities for more people around the world. And it was very interesting. Uh, last night, uh, I arrived and uh, I met with Helen and our management team. And I'm going to talk about them later. I'm so excited about the strength of our Shackley Malaysia corporate management team and how dedicated they are to support you, I think it's going to be one of the key drivers of success. You can clap for them. They're, they're awesome. So about 10 o'clock at night, I go up to the lounge in the hotel to get some water before I went to sleep. And there was a very nice young man who helped me. And then this morning, I got up very early and I went to the gym to exercise and I went back up to the lounge at around 6 o'clock in the morning and there was that same gentleman there. So I asked him, what are your hours? How long are you working? He said, my hours are from 6 a.m. in the morning until 11 p.m. at night. And I go, how many days a week are you working? He said six days a week. Now it's so interesting. He's grateful that he has a job. He seemed very happy. But he's not creating a business for himself. Which means that he's devoting so many hours in so many days of the week to an activity. But if he stops working, there's nothing there for him. And I think the power of a business that you can own and that you can not only have for yourself but you can pass on to your family is really really important I want to share one thing that my father shared with me probably the one consistent business advice that my father told me ever since I was five years old and by the way it took me about 30 years to really understand it and to really start to follow it. It's quite simple. He said, Roger, real wealth is created over the long term. Not in a moment, not in a flash, over sustained activity. And the key to achieving that is to try to find a business that all your efforts that you put in build over time and compound and grow. So, for example, that nice gentleman who works on the lounge floor of the hotel is working so many hours, but that's not necessarily building something because he comes in and does the same thing every day. If you have a business like a Shackley business, the effort that you put into now and the effort that you put in day in and day out will help build as you share it with more people. And everything that you do can compound and grow, not just today, but over five years, or 10 years, or 20 years, or 30 years, or 40 years, or 50 years. And the people in this room, you as leaders of our Shackley family, are one of the youngest populations in the entire global Shackley family. And I was just with a group of Shackley leaders in America two weeks ago. Actually, it was last week. It feels like two weeks ago. Uh, I was with them last week, and some of them have been in Shackley and have been Shackley master coordinators 
for 50 years. In fact, many of them. And, I, and I've watched them grow and they take their business and they transfer it to their children and they have two and three generations of their family creating a better life for themselves with freedom and flexibility. And they make their money by helping other people. And it's an incredible opportunity. And this is something that at this moment right here in Malaysia, there's such a need to share the gift of both health and the gift of a sustainable business where everything that you do builds for the future and the future can be long term. Which is why the theme that Helen and her team chose is built to last. And we didn't actually talk about what the theme should be, but she is suggesting the same advice that my father told me. Do something that you can build over the long term because that's how you can create real value for yourself and your children. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.